Welcome to Mammoth Tutorials. Here we will show you how to easily navigate around Mammoth Business Software and how you can easily find answers to any questions you have about the functionality of the program. When we sign into Mammoth, we must check that we are in the correct company database. This needs to be done if we have created several company databases, such as the example database. The name of the database can be seen in the title bar at the top. Firstly, we show the toolbar at the top of the program. In File, we find the functionality to create a new or open an existing company database, import and export of data, and performing a backup. By going to Database Utilities, there is an option to install an example database. We recommend all new users do this so that they can test the functionality of the program. Using the View menu, we can navigate our way to most of the functionality in the program. Using Window, we can easily switch between the windows we have open in the program. Under Help, then About, we can see which version of the program we have installed. All license information is displayed here, and we can also manage the license information. On the left side of the program, we see different focus areas. Within each focus area, we find a flowchart with keyboard shortcuts to relevant work in Mammoth. This enables us to get an overview of how the modules and functionality are connected to each other. To decide which modules we want shown here, go to User Settings and click Desktop. We are now on Status and we can see an overview of the company's financial situation and status in the Sales and Logistics module. The boxes shown can be replaced. If, for example, we do not want to see cash flow, then we click the top right of the box and select Change Information Box. Here we are presented with a list of boxes that we can choose from. In this way, we can customize the boxes in the window with information that suits our purposes. Now we focus on the menu for contact management. Here we will see a flowchart. Using the flowchart, we can easily maneuver around in the contact module, as well as other relevant modules. In the same way as in the status window, we can replace the information boxes. We also have the ability to customize the row of buttons located at the bottom. This is done by right-clicking the button we want to replace and click Adjust. This way we can tailor the window so that the functions we use the most are available with just one click. At the top of the white box in the main window we find a toolbar. Here there are shortcuts to some of the most used features of the program. By clicking on New we see a drop down box with the choice to set up a new contact, new quotation, new order, etc. By clicking on List, we can choose to open some of the most used features in the program. For example, Contact, Product and Sales Order. By clicking on Report, we bring up the Report module. When we click on Settings, a new window appears where we have the ability to adjust most settings in the program. By clicking on Help, we gain access to the Help files. Here we can choose between offline and online help. We recommend that you use online help if you have access to the internet. The help file will also open if we press the F1 key on the keyboard, no matter where we are in Mammoth. For example, if we are in the products module and press F1, the help page for products appears. We are in the focus area for contacts management and we will see that the help file for this area opens. If we do not find the answers to our questions by using the help file, we can click on the menu Focus Area Mammoth Support Center. Here we can search through hundreds of support articles. If, for example, we wanted to know how to create a credit note, then we type in credit notes and click on search. We then click on the article how to create a credit note. If we want to see tutorials about frequently asked questions, we can find them by going to 
mammoth.com slash tutorials. If you have not found the answer to your questions by using the help file, article search or training films, then you can submit a request to our support centre. Click on New Inquiry to Mammoth Support Centre and follow the wizard. Describe the problem in detail so that it is as easy as possible for our support centre to help answer your questions. We have now shown how we can navigate around Mammoth Business Software. More tutorials can be found on our website.